Color blocking is a great way to add visual interest to our knitting projects. Color blocking, stripes, they're very simple techniques. If you can join a new ball of yarn to your work, you can add these fun color blocks and stripes. Here's the front side of our work, the right side, and here's the wrong side. So it's really fun when it's all done, but getting there is a process because every time you join yarn, you wind up with all of these yarn tails. So every juncture with new yarn creates two tails. And you can see that by the time you get to the end of a large project, Oy, this is a lot of tails. <laughs> so yeah, see how there's two every time the color changes. And most of us do not like having a ton of finish work facing us when we get to the end of our project. Uh, so, I came up with this little way to weave in those yarn tails as I knit my project. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So here's the wrong side of the work. And this shows you that all those tails are woven in. All I have to do is trim them off and um, this little sample is finished which is so nice. You get to the end of your project and it's done. So I'm gonna be upfront with you. This is not like an invisible process. You can see the work uh, a little bit if you look on that wrong side it's going to show. But your right side is beautiful. It's perfect. But you can see that little bit of uh, weaving on the back side. So if that's going to bother you, then I would suggest sticking with the um, traditional method of weaving in your ends. Um, but if it doesn't bother you, this is a great way to get those projects knitted and finished. I've already knitted my uh, first color for this sample and now we're going to join the second color so that you can see the process of weaving in these ends or I should say knitting in the ends as you go. Uh, I will also add that this process works for uh, garter stitch and stockinette but really nothing else. Okay so here's what we do. We're going to hold the working yarn and we're going to take the tail from the first color, we lay it over the working yarn and knit. Okay, put the needle in, hold the working yarn, lay that tail over top of that working yarn and knit. Working yarn, lay the tail over and knit. So you're just basically laying that tail on the yarn and um, I guess like wrapping it would be a way of looking at it. Just grabbing it with the working yarn as you go. Hold the working yarn, lay that tail over and knit. And I go over like, I don't know, seven or eight stitches maybe so that I've got quite a bit of that tail knitted in. Mm -hmm. 
And now for a wrong side row, you're just going to knit all the way back. If this were stockinette, we would purl all the way back, but this is a garter sample, so we're just knitting. And now we're going to deal with the tail for the color that we joined. So we're going to insert to knit, hold the working yarn, and wrap that tail. Just lay it over top of the working yarn. And that way it catches the working yarn and holds onto it. So hold the working yarn, lay the tail over, and knit. And we're just going to do that until we get maybe seven or eight of them. And then we know that, that the tail is um, fairly secure and then we will simply knit to the end of the row. And we're on our wrong side again, and we're simply just tugging gently at the tails we've knitted in just to even things up because we always want a nice, even fabric. And now, because we're in garter stitch, we're going to knit back to the end of that row. Looking at this sample, if you didn't know it, you would never suspect that we had knitted in those ends on the back. And yet there they are. So you can see them on the wrong side. It's not a perfect process. You're going to be able to see where those um, different colors of the color blocking or the stripes are worked in. but. If that doesn't completely freak you out, this is a really great time saver. <laughs> um, I like knitting these uh, color block scarves. I'm really into Hogwarts type of things, and I make a lot of these Hogwarts inspired scarves, and this is life changing. Let's add this third color so you can really see what's going on. I'm pulling the working yarn to the back and then I'm going to take the tail of the previous color and then I'm going to uh, lay that tail from the last color over the working yarn. And like I had said before, I do this for maybe seven or eight stitches. If I'm working on like a large uh, shawl project with smaller yarn, I, um, I'll do more. Now here's something you really want to be mindful of, and I left this in so you could see. It's um, really easy to get your colors mixed up. <laughs> and in this one, I knitted with the um, tail of old color instead of the working yarn. So this is something you just you want to slow down, you want to really watch what you're doing and make sure that you're grabbing the correct yarn uh, and pulling through the, uh, the loop. <laughs> 